Tonight, a Bay Area state attorney fears he might not have the resources to prosecute certain crimes. Yeah, the Hillsborough County state attorney tells Ada on your side, Investigator Masa Saidi, he is bracing for budget cuts. Masa. That's right, Josh and Jen. Over the next few weeks, state lawmakers will make all sorts of decisions about funding. Tonight, a warning that cuts to the courts should be off the table. Mike Frank was killed in a shooting in South Tampa close to four years ago. Prosecutors say he was 100% innocent, a bystander who lunged in front of the bullets to protect others. There was a trial and conviction, but tonight, still no sentencing. A COVID backlog in the courts has delayed justice for Mike's sister, Sybil Nod, and countless other families. When you get these letters and this case is pending and pending, it kind of opens the wound over and over and over again. How big of a challenge is this for you? It's one that we're, we've been working through every day. Hillsborough so. State Attorney Andrew Warren has a $30 million budget. The state told him to brace for a 10% cut. Warren says that would mean one out of every 10 positions would have to be eliminated. And that wouldn't just delay justice, it would impact public safety. That means fewer prosecutors to hold criminals accountable. It means that we have to start identifying the types of cases that we can't prosecute as quickly or prosecute at all. Would you not go after property crime as aggressively? We haven't identified the specific areas where we couldn't go after those cases as aggressively as we always do. As state lawmakers get ready to deal with the budget wreckage left by the virus, Warren says in his office, there's no more fat to cut. He's hoping lawmakers reconsider for Nod's family and yours. My brother died a hero, which he was my hero living, so it makes me kind of feel better that these girls' lives got saved. And we know you're concerned about your family's safety, so we'll be closely watching to see what lawmakers do here and how the state attorney handles it. Jen.